I can see it. Off in the distance. Always getting closer. Looming like some unavoidable catastrophe. What does it mean? How can I prepare myself? It's almost more than a man can bear, this horrifying mystery. The end. So final. So absolute. No negotiating it away. The end is coming. What's to be done? Nothing. Yes! Nothing! The only thing to not even begin. It's the only way to escape the reach of this persistently hostile ending. There can be no ending to a thing that has not yet begun. Excellent. I will stand here perfectly still, close my eyes, and wait for the end to pass me by. I will not even utter one syllable. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Could it be that, in a sense, I have already begun? I mean, just by being here, just by speaking aloud, just by acknowledging the existence of the end. The clever bastard, tricking me into beginning against my will. I who have so rarely begun. Christ, had I only been more reserved, if I would have been able to resist any one of the three, that is, being here, speaking aloud, or acknowledging the end, the remaining two would certainly not be able to incite a palpable beginning of their own accord. But no. Here I am, being here, speaking aloud, and acknowledging the end. Might as well have gift wrapped myself. <laughs> well, fine. Now that it's painfully clear that I have begun, perhaps I should begin. On their walk through the park, a man and a woman approached a shaded bench. Both were of nondescript age and were dressed in ambiguous attire, so much so that one might not be able to distinguish one from the other. In fact, I'm beginning to wonder if maybe I haven't messed the whole thing up already, and that perhaps there was just one solitary person approaching said bench. Well, that's life, isn't it? Spiraling out into that uniform consistency which wiser men call chaos. Damn it all! Forget it. I'll begin again. Correctly. On its walk through the park, a person approached a shaded bench. Beautiful. As it regarded the bench, a renewed sense of its own loneliness echoed through its core. Damn old tedium! I admit, there was room for two on this bench, possibly even two and a half. However, I maintain that a person can easily plop itself down, smack in the center, sprawling out like a mat of fungus without being struck by its own singularity. At this rate, we'll never be finished. Once more. On its walk through the park, a person approached the shaded bench. Beautiful. It plopped down, smacked in the center, and sprawled out like a splattering of vomit. <laughs> Somewhat excessive, but let's press on. It couldn't help but look up to the sky in its reclined position. My God, is there no end in sight? The person stared up into the bright blue and considered what a fine day it was. It began to consider all the other fine days it had wild away in similar fashions. This vacant gaze nostalgia lasted for hours. It was a blur. abruptly ended when the sun snuck into the line of its sight and burned out its retinas, blinding the person and causing unrivaled pain. The end. The end? But I, I finished. Is there no mercy? I mean, look what I have to work with. A bench, an amorphous blob of a person, the sun? How can I go on? Incredible. Fine. The blind person rose from the branch, cursing the sun, cursing its fragile eyes, cursing fate for allowing it to be blinded by the sun while sitting on a thoroughly shaded bench. Enough! How can one go on like this when it finally ran out of things to curse and indeed curses to cast? It returned to its reclined position on the bench and began to reflect on all of the dreadfully awful days it had wild away in a similar manner. Through its memory, it relived all the unpleasant incidents of its past and waited, however unknowingly, for the end. <clears throat> the end. 
Dee.